Here we go, people. <laughs> it's a little hummingbird, pineapple, cherry, ginger, banana, and lemon smoothie. Yes, people, we're back. Welcome to Cook and Vibe. My name is Emda R. This is season nine. I hope everyone's all right, man. I hope everyone's feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Yes, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I don't think we've even ever, ever done a smoothie before on the channel. Today, we're doing the world's greatest, the world's greatest pineapple smoothie pineapple ginger and banana but this is what you're going to need for the smoothie people yeah obviously you're going to need a, a blender yeah we're going to need one full pineapple we've got one lemon we've got some ginger we've got one banana and this is the this is the, the naughty part the cherry syrup yeah i know i know i know but you, trust me when you taste it you're gonna know what i want do you know what I'm saying, people? So that is today's ingredients, people. Let's get busy. Right, first things first, cook and vibe. We've got to chop up our pineapple. You get me? So we're going to take, take the top off, put that to the side. You can all use that for decoration or something. Do you know what I mean? And take the bottom off. Everyone has different ways of cutting their pineapple. I ain't got time. Do you know what I mean? Quick and fast. That is it. Cork and vibe. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's knock off that bit there. And that is pretty much done. Chop off a few more bits off that, do you know what I'm saying? But yes, people, pineapple. We're going to put the whole kind of pineapple in apart from the core. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, chop up the pineapple. Get that in there first. Let's go. Why, why? Yes, people. So now we're just going to get these little, the little spiky bits or whatever off now. Make sure all of them, or most of them are gone anyway. Do you know what I mean? Don't mind if there's a couple of them because it's going to get blended up anyway. But yeah, a smoothie today, people. Something a bit different. I don't, I don't think we've actually ever done any smoothie on the channel before. So this is the first one. I think we've kind of covered everything. Yeah. So yeah, one, one little bit there. That will do us people. Yeah. There we have our pineapple. And we can just Get, get this out of the way, okay. and then just down there, down there, down there. Now, you see like the core of the pineapple people. We're gonna be doing something different with this. We're gonna be doing a few pineapple recipes actually. I've got a really cool one that you're gonna see soon, which is actually cooking. But um, yeah, the core and everything, you can all use this for stuff, but um, we're not using it today. Um, but um, definitely in the future, we're gonna show you something with that. So yeah, we've got our pineapple here, so we can just chop this up into chunks now, people, and get that into the blender. Why oi, good vibes. That is it. Yeah, man. I know smoothies are meant to be healthy, people, but honestly, I just love cherry and and pineapple together. Cherry and pineapple, just like one of them, the best combinations. So uh, we're gonna chuck a little bit of cherry syrup in there, like I said. A little bit naughty, but hoy is that the way the thing said. So we nearly got all pineapple in. Yes, people, let's go for the next step. Next up, people, I'm gonna put our banana in. Okay, now, did you know the correct way to 
peel your banana. Now look at that banana people, right? Which do you think this is the correct end to peel the banana? Because a lot of people do. A lot of people peel their bananas from this end. Doesn't make no sense. Honestly, this is the right end to peel your banana. And when you peel it from that end, you'll realize how much easier it is to peel it like that. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get our, our um, banana in. Oh, trying to get, mom tried to get away. Put that in. Nicely. Boom, next step. We're gonna go in for the ginger next, people. Yeah, did you know ginger is a root? That like come it goes like it comes under the ground, but like it like goes all. I remember I was in Jamaica one time and and I stopped. I really need to go to the toilet. I stopped and pulled over. I said, "This house, bro, it looks like ginger. Like in it was like in like the like mud in the the wall bit and pulled it out. Pulled this big bit of ginger out and you could see it just went like just continuous. Like the whole road must have been filled with ginger." Crazy man, but um, yeah, ginger. Uh, we put we put a decent bit of ginger in, probably about about that much, people. Yeah, about that much. Um, some people scrape off their ginger. Ain't got time. <laughs> we think this is the laziest cooking show on earth. <laughs> it's not lazy. We just we ain't got time. Do you know what I mean? So um, look, quickly done. No problem. Get the last little scrapings off. Have good vibes. Yeah, let's get the excess out of the way. And just, I love the smell of fresh ginger, man. Just feel like eating the whole lot, but you know about it, trust me. And when it comes out the ground in Jamaica, oh, strong then, I tell you, proper strong. <laughs> so, all right, so now I think we're gonna go in for the naughty part. No, 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 no. What we're gonna do next is, um. We're gonna put the lemon in next. Yeah, we can just leave that there for a, for a second. Let's go in for the lemon next, people. So, one lemon. And just squeeze that in there. Have good vibes. Hoy oi. Right. So, I think we, uh, we've we got all the healthy stuff in now, people. Now for the naughty part. It's not gonna be a long one today, people. It's not gonna be a long one. Uh, just a quick one today. It's kind of all over the place this week where we dropped the music video on Sunday. Make sure you go check it out if you haven't seen it already. The link is in the description. Um, so because we dropped the music video Sunday, then we, I ended up dropping an episode Monday. Yeah, Jamaican peppered steak cooked in a tagine. If you haven't seen that, also go check that out. <laughs> Why, I, Jamie Oliver, sit down, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying, people? Sit down, bruv. Look, man. That is Jamaican peppered steak cooked in a tagine. Please and thanks. Yeah, so I'm um, dropping this one today. You'll get your normal episode Sunday uh, and then we'll be back to normal. Um, we are on the countdown. We are on the countdown going to Jamaica. Yeah, I think we've got about five and a half weeks. Yeah, but um, I will check properly and we'll start getting a countdown ready because you don't know there are good vibes. We're going to link Ras Moko. We're going to link everybody you want to see. Let me know what you want to see in Jamaica. Leave that in the comment section. Do you know what I mean, people? Please subscribe if you can. Hit that like button. Do you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff, people. You don't know how the things that is cook on vibe. M the R Horn. All right, this part, yeah, like I say, this is the naughty part, people. This is kind of uh, defeating the fact of a healthy smoothie. But, tastes good, man. <laughs> So we're not going to put too much in, we're not going to put too much in, so we are going to probably about that, should be good, yes. That's how it's looking so far people, you understand, yeah, everything is inside there, we're going to add some water, yeah man, we're going to add some water. 
That is it, people. Yeah. Now we're not going to put loads of water in. That should be good. Yeah. Try and get a better view for you there, people. Oi, oi. That much water. As you can see. Yeah, man. Cherry and pineapple, banana, ginger, and lemon smoothie. Let's go. Bear goodness with a little bit of naughtiness. Yeah. All right, people. Time to blend her up. There we go. Boy, boy. Blast her up. Boy, boy. There it is. Wow. Smelling beautiful. There we go, people. There we have our cherry, pineapple, ginger, lemon, and banana smoothie. But we're not done there. We're not done yet. You see this? We're gonna use this for a little decoration. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this next. Why you why? All right, people, so here's for the little decoration. This is why we saved this, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop the rest of this off of here. It's a bit tough, get through it. Okay, so, right, this bit we can put to the side for a second, people. This bit here, this is what we're gonna use for our decoration. Now, if you see you got a little dot here, all right? It's quite important you remember you got the little dot there, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut there, like that, okay? So, let's show you what I mean. All right, so now we've got this, people, yeah? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take three leaves off of here. So we're gonna get one, two, three. So we've got our chopped up bit. Remember, you need the little dot there, people. And we've got our three leaves. Right, next step. All right, people. So what you wanna do is you wanna give them a wash Give the three leaves a wash and then just chop off the bottom bit of the leaf. Hmm? Done. All right, so now we've got three leaves like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together and we're gonna put them on the back of the piece of pineapple that we got and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little toothpick. We're gonna to break that in half. And we're gonna poke that through. Right, so yeah, you wanna get the free leaves, put them down, people. Dig the piece of toothpick into it. And then we're just gonna pull them up. One sec. Let me get in the right position for you, people. Put them together a little bit. All right. Get a smaller one for this one. That one there, good. All right, let's give this a little wash. Yes, so. Now we've got this and we've got the other leaf. We're gonna put the other leaf here. Attach it there, people. As you can see, a little birdie is being started to being created. <laughs> so what we're gonna do next is we're, we're just gonna add a little beak. Yeah, a little beak for the last thing. So what I've done, people, is chop the tips off and just slit a little slit in there and then dug them in there. And there we go, when we put up our, our bird wings again, and we cut it in half, we'll put it on the uh, glass. 
with our little hummingbird drink. Why you cook and vibe. Let's go. Here we go, people. <laughs> it's a little hummingbird, pineapple, cherry, ginger, banana, and lemon smoothie. Yeah, man, a little bit of creative. It could be done better with a different bit of the um, pineapple at the bottom here. But um, we'll do that another time for you. But a little thing there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you've got to get creative sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, taste time, people. Let's go. Our good vibes, people. Yeah, man, taste time. We're going to take the little uh, thingy out. Yeah, man, taste time. See the little cherry in there. It's like you can taste all the flavors, but the bit of cherry in there is just like, oh, trust me, man. Mm. That's really nice. I think I'm gonna, I can't stop drinking it, people. Wow. Mm. That is serious, man. That is serious. There's loads of good stuff in there. Do you know what I mean? There's a little bit of naughty stuff in there. We can get away with that sometimes, people, because that tastes so good. Oh, my God. You could just drink that and drink that and drink that. And even though there's a little bit of naughtiness in there, you're still drinking ginger, you're still drinking banana, and you're still drinking pineapple and lemon. Do you know what I mean? Wow. This is serious, people. Honestly. No joke. Oh, so good. Hope you enjoyed it today, people. Quick one. Smoothie. Ain't done a smoothie before. There you go. The world's best pineapple smoothie. I'm telling you, try it and see. Please, man, I need you to try it. Because I need you to just taste this right now. Oh my god, I need to just taste it. Then you'll know, then you'll believe me what I'm when I'm saying it's the best in the world. Mm. Boy, I cook and vibe. I think I need to drink another one of them. I'm gonna drink another one of them right away. <laughs> I good vibes, people, man. I'll see you on Sunday. Big up yourself, big up section. Hoi. Greetings, tell me how you're feeling. It's the big up section. You don't know where I go, people. Leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. Why are you, people? Welcome to the big up section. You don't know where the thing's set. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all them good stuff. You don't know where the thing's set. Let's get that algorithm going. Today's big up, people. Big up plugs S. He says M dot R goes hard. And that was referring to the last song, Polo and Cycle Bunny. The music video is out right now. Go check it out, people. Also, big up, Dark1111. One, 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 one. It says, M. R never disappoints. Who agrees? Why, why? And a good 32 people like that as well. I love that, people. So big up yourself, people. I love that. If you want to big up, just leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. And I will see you next time. Hoi.